So I'm gonna be talking about every matchup. For example, against D.Va, you guys can help me if you want, chat. Believe it or not, D.Va, in my opinion, is more strong than Ball. I think Ball does have a little bit more mobility, but D.Va mobility is really strong. D.Va Kit is really strong. So usually against D.Va, you don't want to be closer than this. Like, like if you get closer, because her, like she has shotguns, double shotgun, a closer you're always going to lose the matchup. So what do you want to do? What do you want to do is always poke from like far away. Also, she can book you off the map too, so be careful. Uh, so yeah, recording a video. I'm doing like a YouTube video. Good morning, clone. It's very, it's very useful for every ball main. Matrix could be annoying, yeah, but I'm talking about like the one verse ones against Diva. Usually, you don't want to be close to the edges against her because she can book you. That's the first. Uh, you don't want to try to take the one verse ones. Like the one verse ones against Diva, you don't take those. It's a, lo a lot of times it's a waste of time because she does way too much damage to ball. Diva is a hard counter for ball. The, the higher SR you get, the more uh, the more counter she is. So how do you play against a Diva? Well, you keep your distance at at this range. Your weapon wins. At that range, your weapon wins. Okay? Now, when she bombs, you want to run away, of course. But you have a little bit of time to kill the mech. Just be careful that when she remax, she can she can do damage. But Ball can punish really bad the D.Va when she bombs, okay? Because you can boop and you can uh, finish her off, okay? So that's the thing you have to uh, take in count. You can try to peel when she dies one of your supports, booped her. But usually, again, when you see a diva, usually you don't you don't think about one verse one. You just think about running away, because the, the diva's kit design is is really strong against ball. Now, if you see if you see her using your boosters into a edge, that's your opportunity that you have to boost her. But only if you see it. If you don't see it, you don't go for it, okay? Because she can just shift in again. No Sunday Sabah all that. And I, th I think that's pretty much everything that you need to know about Diva. Doomfist. Doomfist is really weak right now. But I do believe that Doomfist counters ball too. Because he has the punch, he has the slow, can stop your fireball. So against Doom, the same as Diva, pretty much. You don't want to get too close, you want to poke him from, from, from far away. Now, if he's together with all the team, yeah, sure, why not? Go in and slam. But if he's like a little bit split, you don't want to like engage on him. You don't want to do it. Against Doomfist, again, you shoot from far away, okay? Doomfist absolutely counters ball. He can boop you off the map. Uh, he can slow you down, stop the fireball. Against his ultimate, like, you don't have to be... I don't think Doomfist is as dangerous as D.Va. But at the same time, he does counter. So both D.Va and Doomfist, you don't want to get close. Because if you get close, you're going to get farmed. A good Doomfist can stop ball so bad. So just, just be aware of it. If you want to engage on your team, make sure make sure uh, he, he doesn't know where you're coming from. Because if you go through main, he just punches you and stops your rollout so bad. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it about Doomfist. Uh, Junker Queen. All you need to be careful about Junker Queen. Uh, she can she can outplay you just with her knife because she can pull you up. Imagine you go in, she hit her knife. And then when you're trying to run away, she can pull you back. And that can fuck up your momentum really bad. So the only thing you need to be careful about Chunker Queen is her knife. But usually, usually she's not dangerous. Again, you don't want to be too close to her because she has a shotgun. It's really strong. Uh, if she's like, if she's like separated. But she's less dangerous than Doom and, uh, and D.Va for sure. Just be aware of her knife because she can pull you up. When she has ulti, there ain't much you can do. You can just run away for her, but you, you can cleanse you can cleanse the antis. You can do that much. But you don't wanna be super close to Junker Queen either. Because she farms you too. She has big shotguns. Big shotguns and the guy pull you Just be aware. Listen, just be aware of her knives. Little sneaky Becky, you're bored. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Just be aware of her knife, because she can pull you back when you're trying to run away, okay? Don't try don't try to run away when the knife is on you. You can check when the knife is on you on your screen, okay? You, you can see it, so just be aware of that. Hello, Ragen. Hello, hello. Where is uh, where is your friend? I stick a monster. <clears throat> okay, against Orisa. Orisa, another hard counter for Ball. That's, that's why Ball is not as strong in Overwatch 2, because 
It feels like every tank, it's a bad matchup against Gaul, you know? If you get close. So Orisa, again, make sure she doesn't see you in because she has CC. One of the few tanks that has CC, okay? Should I tug a look? Um, yeah, I think so. I, I have it, Tony. It depends what you want to get used to. Am I going to cute comp? Yeah, I will. Be patient, please, uh, Sneaky. <clears throat> so, yeah, against Orisa, all you need to be careful about is her stun. And her boop. Like, Orisa hard counters ball. If you if you try to solo slam on Orisa, that's it. You're fucked. Also, she has a fortify that allows her not to get pooped. The things that you need to be aware. Pretty much everything in Overwatch 2 you want to avoid. That's that's the truth. Um, be aware of her stuns. You don't want to be like here, close to walls. Because once she javelins, you get stunned into a wall. Uh, so against Orisa, you want to be like in the open. You don't want to be like in a way where she can uh, spear you into a wall, okay? And, and that's pretty much it. Her damage is not that dangerous up close, but she can boop you off the map with her with her with her thing. I think it's her E, I think it's her E or her shift, I don't know. <clears throat> so just be aware of that. Her ultimate, when you hear her ultimate, you can just run away. You can just run away. That's that's what you should do when you hear her ultimate. Just run away. <clears throat> I think that's pretty much about it. Uh Reinhardt. Reinhardt, it's it's easy to play against Reinhardt. Obviously, obviously, don't want to be in melee range. Uh, one, one curious thing about Reinhardt, if you go through him, if he swings, he stops your fireball. So that's something to have in count. Again, make sure make sure he doesn't see you coming. Because a good Reinhardt, if he sees you coming, you, 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 like you, you try to fireball through him, through main, and he can stop your fireball with the swing. So you, you don't want to go like in a way that he sees you. Another thing against good Reinhardt's, since you have two, char two charges on, on the... No, two charges, no. Since you can control better your charge, if you swing... I mean, if you slam in front of a Reinhardt, or if you, shall, if you slam in a way that he sees you, he can, actually he can actually time out really well the charge into your slam. So just be aware of it. Against his ultimate... Uh, it's it's like a feeling when you feel like he has ultimate. You don't want to be in front of him. You can you definitely should tell your team because you cannot stop. Like there's nothing you can do about the, the shatter, right? Unless unless you, you dodge it and then you booked him out when he tries to charge your team or so. But the best thing you can do about about this shatter is tell your team that he has shatter. It's like EMP. There's nothing you can do. So all you can do is tell your team that he has shatter. So maybe they're gonna dodge. Because if you're playing Rain, you can stop it yourself. If you're playing Orisa, you can stop it yourself, or Sigma, or, or any other tank. You might be able to stop it. But with Wrecking Ball, you can't. You can't cancel it, and if you stay in front of him, he can just shatter you and the entire team. Just be aware of that. Against Roadhog, I got another, another ball counter. Roadhog, it's all about dodging hooks. All about it. All you have to do against Roadhog, it's dodging his hooks. Now you ask, but how do I dodge Mo Mo uh, Moeth? How do I dodge Og hooks? Be your best ally, it's walls. Because the hook breaks when you go out of the LOS. So against a hog, if he's with the whole team, again, if he's with the whole team, whatever. You slam, you get a good D, you might get hooked, but you already get value. You're not going to die to one hook, right? Unless he has ultimate. If he has ultimate, you got to run away against Og. Against Og, it's like a feeling, the same as Shatta. If he has ultimate, you don't want to be like... You don't want to be in close quarters. Because he can just uh, ult you into a corner and, and one-shot you. Uh, good balls, believe it or not, and I've done this in the past. Good balls jibate the ulti. Now you ask, but how do I jibate the ulti? If he has ultimate, you can go into him without slamming. And after he hooks you, or after he sees you like super close to him, he might be tempted to ult you. And that's when you grapple out and try to escape. But again, that's a little bit risky. It's a high, high pro strat. It's possible. But the most important thing, make sure you don't, no, don't go inside a house or so where you can corner you up, okay? The same against monkey or so. You don't want to get too close. If he gets a hook on someone, you can try to boop him. So it's a very, it's a very, what the fuck was that poop? It's a very, it's a very skill matchup, okay? It's a very skill matchup. 
Hello, Coley. Hello, Potato. Hello, Lord. Everything good into Brawl except Winston? Yeah, everything is really good against Brawl if you know how to play him then. Again, there is two types of road dogs. There is those types that they don't do anything besides OQ, which I think it's the right thing to do. Because Brawl it's all about go in. If he if he doesn't use his hook or he's looking at you, you can't go in. Unless you jabate the hook. You jabate the hook by shooting him and hide into a corner. It's a little bit risky. Again, it's it's a very skilled matchup. But once he used his hook, he's useless. He's useless, you can poke it down, get a lot of ulti charge, and so. And yeah, that's all about Rodog. So much walls bump, bumped. You bumped into a lot of walls, you mean? Against Sigma. All you need to be careful about against Sigma is his, um, his ultimate. Again, once you hear that ultimate, it's a very good voice line. You can hear it really well. You should just grapple away and be as fast as possible. And you should grapple away out of the LOS. Many people don't know this, but for example, if you're out of LOS here and the ult is there, you might not get into his ulti. Even if you get into his ulti, you're safe, so he cannot shoot you well in the air. All you need to dodge is... Um... Sus, thank you so much for the eight months. Thank you, Sus. And Rock, yeah. All you need to do... About Sigma is rock. TV just resubbed for eight months. <clears throat> Again, a good Sigma will save his rock when you slam. So be aware. Just the same, the same as Reinhardt, the same as um... <clears throat> Becky. You start to annoying me now, Becky. I think, I think you're, I think you're trying to uh, check my limits, okay? And I think that's not a good way. J just, just chill, bro. Just ch chill the fuck out. <clears throat> Thank you, Sus. Thank you for the eight months. I think he's testing... I think he's testing... This guy has been banned in the past, by the way, chat. He's testing my patience. So yeah, against Sigma, all you need to do is dodge the rock. If you go through main and you slam in his line of sight, he might... He might, uh, he might rock you, so just be aware of that, okay? Yeah, a lot of... Maybe, maybe chat, if you're an experienced ball player, all, all, all these tips might be very boring for you, but with Overwatch 2 coming out, there is a lot of new players. There is players that they don't know the basics of Wrecking Ball. They don't know how to get Fireball. So this might help a lot. I mean, I mean this is, can be very useful to, to like veteran players too, because I feel like the, the information is useful. So yeah, just be aware, be aware of your rock. Don't go through main. Try to be sneaky against him. When you want to engage into his team, Try to be sneaky, because he can rock you when you slam or you go through Bane, okay? Uh, you, when you one versus run a Sigma, don't stand still. It's really hard for Sigma to shoot you if you move like this. Don't be too, don't move like all the way right side, all the way right side. Try to move like this. It's really good against Sigma, because it's not easy to hit his shot. His shot has like a, a timer on them, okay? That's another thing against Sigma. Against Winston. Winston, it's the, the, the easiest matchup you have. You have two options. <clears throat> Who did I play before ball? Exclamation point before ball. Against Winston chat, you can either you can either you can either go on their back line when he jumps into your team. But if he jumps like into your front line, you can just boop them out of the bubble. That's your main that's your main goal against Winston, okay? He jumps into your TV bubbles. You want to boop them out of the bubble so he gets exposed, right? And you can just shoot him. Like, you win you win this one versus one up close. Ball does good damage. Winston weapon is not that great. But yeah, that's what you can do. If he jumps into your team, imagine he's jumping into the backline. You have two, two options. Either boop them off the bubble and try to help your backline, which I think might not be the best option. Or going to their backline. Depends on what, what you have or what they have. If, if, if you have dive, for example, you can just go into their backline. Or maybe Winston jumps into world, you can punish that, right? It's all about tempo. But usually against Winston, you don't have that much of a hard time. Just make sure that when he ultis, you're not in a corner. You can try to boop him when, he, when he's ulting. Shoot him. Like, it's an easy matchup. Probably the easiest out of all things. Um, but yeah. If your whole backline is dying, while you're like contesting four people into the enemy backline, 
That's probably because Winston is on your back, man. Winston is really good to stall time right now. He, he does, like, he does what Ball does, but in a better way sometimes. Because he has the shield. And his weapon doesn't miss. So that's the thing you need to be aware of. Against Zarya. Zarya is really strong. Oh, fuck. I that. Zarya is really strong in Overwatch 2, okay? So what you want to do against Zarya... You can, you can, after bubbles, again, after bubbles, she has two bubbles now, right? Imagine, like, you're setting up, you're scouting, you see her, like, uh, in front of your team. Like, she's more dangerous as she becomes higher charge, okay? Angry Mouse, thank you so much for the follow. She is more than, she, she is more dangerous as she's high charge. And you can see how dangerous she is by how she glows. If she's high charge, she's gonna glow a lot, right? So what you wanna do against Zarya is not slam, because if you slam into Zarya, she's gonna bubble. And your slam, like, her bubble stops your E, stops your slam, stops your damage. She can be a hard counter for ball if she's a good Zarya. But again, if she's like, imagine you're here, and your whole team is there, and she's like beaming. The best option you can do is boop her into your team and then body block her and shoot her. That's how you need to kill her, though. You need to make sure that you go to kill her. Because if she leaves high charge, she's really, really dangerous. So just be aware of that. Uh, you can boop her off the map. Um, again, if she's high charge, either you boop them into her team or you run away from her. Like, you don't want to over push against a high charge Zarya. And you want to boop her when after she uses the bubble. Okay? She has to bubble, so you need to be aware. But you never slam in front of her. Never. And I would say that you still need to be really careful slam behind her. It's like, if she uses bubble, then you can go in. But at the same time, just be aware that her bubbles can counter your ultimate, can counter, can counter uh, your slam, can counter your shields too. Many people don't know this. But if she bubbles like here, and this, our team is behind her, like I'm not gonna get any E besides one E, one person on E. Just be aware of that, like, uh, or he is really our bubble is really strong against her. But the green light, it's after she uses bubbles, you go in. <clears throat> Did you do one for a hog already? Yeah, I, I said against hog. You can watch the one. Okay, that's that's for the whole tanks. Tanks are pretty much like, pretty much every tank counters ball, okay? So that's, that's kind of tough. Hmm. <clears throat> Again, Sash. When you look at Ash, you gotta see Ash like a widow. You gotta contest her as well. Like, you have to. You have to contest her. Again, Sash, what you need to do is make sure she's not looking at you, okay? Like a lot of characters in Overwatch 2, if, she, if she's looking at you and you roll through main and try to boop her, what she's gonna do is she's gonna shift you. Yeah, I can do it, my snapshot. I can do it. What she's gonna do is she's gonna shift you, okay? And if she shifts you, she counters your 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 whole kit, okay? So what you wanna do is get behind her or go on the flank. Make sure you're unseen against her. Your biggest your biggest idea when you think about Tash, it's her shift. Her shift counters ball because she can just shift you back and stop your movement so bad. So the best thing you can do is make sure she's not looking at you and then go in. Because if she shields you, she does an, a crazy amount of damage. She doesn't need to be scoping into you. Just, just make sure make sure you dodge or you try to prevent her shift before you get into her. If she uses her shift after you get into her, that's it. You already win the matchup, pretty much. Unless she's pocket by Mercy, then you need to go on a Mercy. But usually against her, what you gotta do is make sure... She doesn't shift you before you can get into her. Because if she sees you, she's gonna shift you before you get into her and completely counter you. Alright, like, even if you hold grapple, imagine, you hold grapple, and you go into her, she shifts you, that's it. She already wins that one verse one, if she's a good Ash. She already wins that one verse one. Simonizer. Because the momentum is already fucked up. Ball is all about momentum. Like, after you engage her and she shifts you, before you can actually do something to her, 
right now she already bought all the time that she needs to get pockets and to do more damage to you than you do to her it's all about dodging your dead shit i'm glad snapshot i can do soldier in a second i'm doing in in order okay against bob again i i always believe that minefield counter bob just because of the fact minefield has that zoning ability that bob doesn't have if bob is shooting the minefield so that's something that you have in consideration against bob also be really careful but also you can outplay bob by booping the bob either off the map or out of the los of your team just be really careful where you book bob into okay and i think that's it against Sash. bastion bastion can hard counter ball a lot of people in comp are picking bastion against ball if not sombra and the reason that is it's because of his sentry form so basically if bastion imagine you coming in against ball if bastion is in this form he can just melt you down just be really careful about it okay um so you gotta see bastion as this tank buster so when you see a bastion be really careful when you slam okay because if you're slamming into his uh, form you cannot you cannot like poop them out of his form of his the form that does a lot of damage the sentry form so my recommendation against bap is not slamming if you want to slam make sure you have a e and make sure you have a corner to hide from okay don't overestimate bastion chat don't overestimate bastion he does a lot of damage to ball so against bastion you cannot stay and shoot him you just can't you gotta run into a, out of the los you can boop them, you can slam them, but be really, really careful. Don't overestimate him. When he ultis, it's like a junk rat. Go and try to find where he is. Some Bastion mains, they don't know that his ulti does self-damage and can actually kill him. So, against Bastion, when he ultis, when you hear that sound, go ahead, find where he is, like against junk rat is. And if you shoot him close to him, he might kill himself if he, shoot, if he tries to kill you when you go for him, okay? So be aware of that. Yes, that is true, Simonizer. I would say that that's the main thing you want to do. Because once you debate his sentry form, it's going to be on cooldown. But just make sure you don't commit. If you try to commit into a Bastion and then he transforms, he can just pretty much one-shot you. He does a good amount of damage. <coughs> okay. Cassidy. Cassidy is not as strong... Hey, Cassidy is not as strong as in Overwatch 1 because he doesn't have CT. But don't overestimate Cassidy as well, okay? Don't overestimate him, chat. He does a shit ton of damage. And look, I can prove you how much, how much damage he can do into a tank. Just be aware that uh, Cassidy is this high damage dealer in two tanks, okay? Just because of his right click. His right click is one of the biggest counters. So, uh, uh, like, uh, Cassidy can pretty much one-shot the ball, almost. Look at his HP, do you see? Just be aware of Cassidy's. Cassidy's is a character that you need to contest, but at the same time, you need to be really aware of his damage, because, as you can see the combo, you can almost one-shot a ball. Look how much damage it is. So, you never want to get super close to him, okay? You want to slam him, you want to boop him, he doesn't have the CC right now. Just be aware that you need to contest him, but at the same time, be aware that he does a lot of damage with his right click. A lot. So do not overestimate, do not overestimate uh, a Cassidy. Uh, when you hear his ultimate, you need to have the... Um, you need to go to sounds, because you want to hear where he's coming from, right? On your, on your audio options on window... You need to make sure that you don't have mono on. You need to have mono off. You need to have the other option where you can you can hear in-game where his Ainun is coming from. Because once you hear where he's coming from, you can hide it. Right? You can even debate it. Imagine, for example, you're playing ball, right? You're playing ball. And... Like, you are in the corner, and you hear him, high noon, you hear him, high noon, your whole team, right? 
What you can do when he's high nooning, you can shoot him so he looks at you, but you need to hide right away. Why? Because if he's look if he tries to high noon you, he's not high nooning your team. Just make sure that he doesn't full charge the high noon into you, so it's a very small window that you have where you can distract them and then hide. Right? Sometimes you can even kill them, but it, it really depends where it is. Uh, be aware that his eye noon has a long ass range, believe it or not. When he eye noons, the LOS is really large. So if you're in the corner, make sure you, you're out of the LOS because he's really, really big, the LOS of eye noon. Don't get too close for too long because he can one shot you. He takes reduced uh, damage while losing you. Does he? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't knew that. Does he take reduced damage when he ulties? That is very interesting. I didn't knew that. Your, your first objective is to distract them. I mean, your first your first thing you need to do is run away when he items, right? You don't want to be in the LOS. But if you feel like you have that window where you can shoot him a couple of times to distract him enough to look at you and then you hide, then you can do it without him full charge. Against Echo. Okay, Echo. Believe it or not, Echo can almost one-shot the ball too. Be aware of his damage. Be aware of his sticky damage. Echo is going to be flying with the Mercy, right? So for most part, unless like he's a bad Echo, he can commit in... He's a bad Echo and he commits into a air. If Echo uses her shift, she has no more mobility, right? So you might be able to kill her in the air if she flies too close. But be aware that Echo does a lot of damage, which means that if you stay too long into an Echo while pocket, But... So he can pretty much one clip you if he hits every shot, right? So just be aware of that. But the most important thing that you need to do against Echo, if he doesn't fly too close and if he if he's not wasting his shifts, what you should do against Echo is go for the other healer, okay? And the same goes for Fora. Echo, like Echo is flying in the sky, you cannot do anything to them, they're super high, they have good position. Go on the other healer, so you force the Mercy into the other healer, so he gets exposed. That's the best thing you can do against Echo. When he ultis, you don't want to give him too much ulti charge, you can try to annoy him. Like, imagine if he, co if he copies, for example, a soldier. You should contest him right away. So, he's gonna get that visor and you want to contest him, right? Imagine if he copies a tank, you need to be more careful then. It really depends if you want to give that ulti charge or not, or if you can burst him down or not. But usually when they have Echo, your, your main focus should go on the other healer, so you force the Mercy down. Be aware that he can one-shot you, so yeah. Genji is not a big threat to, to Ball, in my opinion. Um, but again, you don't want to get too close against Genji because he farms with the right clicks, okay? Uh, if Genji, if Genji is like a high ground, you can contest him, but it's very aim base, okay? I think against Genji, you don't want to get too close because his right clicks are pretty much like shotguns. He shoots away too fast and he does way too much damage. You want to be like at this range because your weapon does a good damage against him. You can force him down with your main weapon. Like a Doomfist, you don't want to get too close to What if Mercy is pocketing both the Echo and the Healer? She can't do both at the same time. If she goes to pocket the Ana or the other Healer, Echo is alone and he might die, you know? You can you can definitely commit into a Genji and force his deflect. Now, if Genji uses Dash, that's your green light to commit him, okay? He uses dash, green line commit him. If he doesn't use dash, if you try to poke him down, you don't go more out damage from distance. Now, if he's pocket, most likely you're gonna feed a lot. But just, just be aware, he's a very he's a very skill matchup. It depends how good the Genji is. But you definitely don't wanna get too close. Unless you have good aim and can burst him down. Or you feel like he's off position. Just because of the fact that his right click does a lot of damage. But yeah, usually against Genji, you can commit, not get too close, if he's off position you can book them. Uh, try to keep this decent first, so you can, uh, you can, you can um, jubate the deflect. It's very important you jubate the deflect. 
But again, uh, uh, same as Echo, if, if he uses his shift into your team, commit into him and kill him. Like, if he uses his shift, that's it. Now, when he's using blades, you can try to debate him into you, to use blade on you. But also you can book them. Just make sure you book them after he uses the dash. The dash is the most important abil ability that he has, right? Once he uses the dash, he doesn't have more mobility, you commit into him. Is ignore? Well, if Echo is a good Echo, you can do much about it. It's like the same as Far Eye. If Far, Far is flying super high, like you can do much against her, unless she flies close to you. But yeah, you're right, Simonarizer. Jubating the deflect is really important. Force the dash if you can. But yeah, imagine like the Genji is contesting you wide ground, right? Usually if the Genji is pocket, he can form you pretty well. But the, 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 his team is right there. You don't want to just shoot them. You just go into his team, get the good D and back up. You, you Like, make sure you, you push him into your team. You never want the Genji contesting a hit scan, right? When he blades, again, when he blades, you can try to boop him. Try to boop him. You can try to um, force him into you. But I think that's how you counter Anzo. I mean, that's how you counter Genji. But usually it's not a hard matchup. But I think, I think against Genji, believe it or not, I think you need a lot of aim. Because it's a very, um, it's a very aim based, I think. Because you need this distance and good aim to debate the deflect and the dash without committing too much with each other. Try to always be on your Ana. But if you're on your Ana, if you're on your Ana Simonizer, you can just dash into the Ana and kill it. You know? I don't think you want to be on the Ana. You can try to minefield when he blades. Like, for example, imagine like the Ana is here. You minefield the Ana and the Ana is like protected to the minefield. But usually that's a very risky move because you can just go to someone else. If you have minefield and he has blade, you want to go into their backline and try to trade backlines. Oh, the enemy Anna? Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, that, that is definitely a good strat. If they have Nano Blade, you can try to fuck up the Anna a little bit. I've done that. So she has a harder time to Nano the Genji. Alright, against Sanzo. Against Sanzo. Anzo is not a big threat to ball. You need to be careful because he's E can one shot any tank in the game, okay? He's E, if it's all headshots, he melts your HP. So don't overestimate him like Cassidy, like Genji up close, like Echo. He does a lot of damage, burst damage. But Tanzo is one of those characters that you need to contest him, okay? Because he's a sniper. Like any sniper in the game or hit scan, you gotta be on them. It's your job, it's your main job. Being on the hit scans. Because if you're on the hit scan, the, your, your own hit scan or your own far or your own Genji has an easier time, okay? Be really aware of the Sonic, okay? The Sonic is the hardest counter to ball in my opinion. Because if he's a good Danzo, imagine like you're scouting there. Like imagine you're scouting a, behind that wall. He's Sonic's and he can see you. So your whole team now knows where you are. The best thing you can do is if he's Sonic's you, you can hear it. Again, the importance of sound. He can hear it, you can hear it if he sonics you, and if he sonics you, you wait a little bit until the sonics go out, and you can try to cut from another place or so. Because the sonic, the sonic follows up where you are, right? So just be aware of that. Easy can one-shot you, so just be aware of his damage on top of his it. His dragon, I don't know what you can do against a dragon. You can try to debate it, the, the dragon, you can try like... For example, when they have grab dragon, what what they can what you can try to do is be on the Anzo and try to boop it at, at the right time so he fucked up his dragon into the grab. Had to climb 148 stories to witness this massive W of a stream boss man. Hello Alturo, what do you mean had to climb 148 stories? Thanks for being here, man. Yeah, I think that that it. I don't think there is much about the uh, Anzo. You can one verse from him pretty much. You book them and you shoot them. And you kill him. 
I wait until he uses jump, then he can escape unless he, he has wall climb. Yeah, but like when you see Anzo, I don't think like he's gonna jump either way, right? It's not a CC, so it's not like something you need to avoid, like an Ash. You can just you can just roll into him. Of course, you need to be aware that he can wall jump. I mean, he can wall right, like wall climb and shift away. But usually, that's not something that you need to be worried about. Yeah, I've I've done Genji. You know, I, I just did Genji. You need to force his deflect. Uh, don't get too close. Once he uses dash, you commit into him. Okay, uh, that's Anzo. Uh, junk rent. Fuck is he sad? Fuck you. Okay, against Junkrat. Junkrat is a hard counter for ball. Be aware of the traps, chat. When you see a Junk spamming, your eyes, like, instead of being here, your eyes need to be here. The traps are sometimes are really hard to see, but they can be really obvious, so just be aware of Junkrat. Never commit inside into a Junkrat. Junkrat hard counters ball. It's too easy for him to short. Don't get too close. You want to keep a distance like this so you can poke him down. Uh, be aware of the traps. Look at the corners. Once he press, once he presses this Q, like Bastion, you go away and try to find where he is. You can even debate the tire on you because you don't die into a tire right now. Do I prefer Anzo or Genji? Uh, Anzo. Anzo, it's easier for me to contest than a Genji because Genji has more damage up close. Uh, although Anzo has his E. I feel like it's harder for Anzo to deal with the ball than a Genji is because Genji has, has the dash, has the right click, there's the damage up close. Against a, against a Junkrat, don't get your baited and go inside where usually Junkrats they're inside something, right? Inside the house, in the corner. You don't want to get too close to him, okay? Just you bait him. You bait him outside. Again, if he doesn't seize you and he's exposed, you can boop him. Don't try to slam Junkrat, because once you slam him, he can either trap you or he can, you can, he, he can mine you. So you want to boop him out, out of your close range to shoot him from decent. Second back stank hero. You mean my main? If Bolly is taken, I probably pick like Zarya. Zarya, Rog, or Sigma. Or even Junker Queen now. Against Farah. Damn, I'm so tired. Okay, against Farah, I'm gonna take a break after this one. I think I'm gonna play a video game and then do the rest. Against Farah, chat. Against Farah, the same as Echo. If she gets too close, you can just shoot her. Um, but usually you wanna go on the other healer, right? He's gonna get pocket by Mercy. You want to go on the other support, so the Mercy goes down, so she stays alone. Be aware, like Rodox, when she has Barrage, Faras tend to solo Barrage balls. So, just be aware of that. You can try to debate it. So just, be, just be very aware. Don't get against Faras, be aware that she can boop you off the map too. Don't get too close. If she managed to boop you, don't panic. You can grapple uh, your way in. Just be aware that she can boop you off the map too. So just... Don't go into a hedge. Don't go into a hedge and try to poke her down. She's gonna boop you, chat. But that's the thing against Far, huh? What else? Or boop, like, our main weapon can stop the fireball, by the way, chat. Like, if you're rolling through and she shoots you, like, our, our, our main weapon, a rocket launcher, as a, as a knock up when she directs, like, when she hits you. Just be aware of that, like Reinhardt. If she eats you, she can stop your fireball. Uh, be aware of solo barrages. Uh, be very careful about it and go on the, the other healer, okay? When she has barrage, the best thing you can do is you ping her. Because when they have barrage, they're going to be flanking, right? Paras are going to be sneaky, get behind you and barrage, or she's going to be like above hiding when you're coming out of a choke. Like, like, uh, like uh, Graves, like Graves, like... Shut us, tell your team, listen team, they have barrage. That's the best thing you can do. And when she's barraging, if you're safe, you can try to shoot her. That's pretty much it. Uh, Reaper. Reaper is a hard counter for ball. You never, chat against Reaper, you never, 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 never want to slam them. 
unless like if he's with the whole team and you can get a good e yeah sure why not slam it's high value but if he's alone in the one verse one you run away jet you don't you don't try to slam him you don't try to shoot him too close it's more the best idea you have against reaper is shoot him like from here a anything else closer than this he farms you do not try to trade with reaper chat you run away you go on the other side okay that's the best thing you can do uh, against reaper you run 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 that's literally the best thing even even rolling through him you feed like if he's like listen if reaper is with his team if reaper is with his team yeah, slam. Why? Because you have a big E. You have a big slam. You're not just one verse running him. You're one verse running the, the whole team. Oh, it's not one verse one anymore. So you're getting value of him. But if you see a Reaper on the flank, the best thing you can do is this. That's it. You ping him, and you shoot him from distance. This is the best range you can... Any, anything else closer than this, he farms you. Reaper is really, really strong. He's a hard counter for both. You wanna run away, run away from Reaper. When he has his ultimate, you don't wanna boop him because unless you wanna boop him out of his team. But like like, like Barrage and like Shatter, you can ping him until your team loosen. They have Reaper ulti, so your team can counter it, okay? Um when you see a Reaper, for example, and he's with your with his team and he has ulti, you don't wanna use your minefield. Because if you minefield slam. And he has ulti. He can Reaper ulti and eliminate every single minefield. So just be aware of that, okay? If you feel like he doesn't have ulti, then sure, go ahead and minefield. But he can actually use his ultimate while in the air and may and don't die to the minefield. Like, uh, yeah, you can try to peel by booping him away, but even doing this, like even doing this against Reaper, my make like you feel like you're always gonna get the better trade because he shoots you once you gain hp and you lose a lot of hp but if you feel like he's doing with your team the best option you can do is shoot him and you might try to boop him away but i feel like it's even better just to shoot him from distance unless like you have a perfect boop out of your team or out of the map again if you boop him off the map you haven't killed him yet you haven't killed him yet because he can TP again back in. So you gotta kinda double boop him. You TP him once. And once he, he comes back in, try not to lose the grapple. Like, you lose him once. Don't lose the grapple. And once he TP back in again in the same badge, you boop him again, okay? That's the best thing you can do against him. Sojourn, you gotta see Sojourn chat like a widow. You gotta be on Sojourn always. Otherwise, he's gonna kill your whole team. Sojourn is really strong right now. You gotta be as sneaky as possible because you don't want to give charge to Sojourn, right? Um, what some Sojourns do when you 1 vs 1 against her, they, they tend to he themselves. And that's good. That's your main that's your main focus. When, you, when you're dealing with her, she's gonna he herself, just run away, get out of it. And if you lose a lot of HP, you need to back up and wait for cooldowns. But if not, you can keep annoying. But your, your main focus, if you see that they have they have a Sojourn, go ahead and contest her, okay? You need to make sure that you always need to be contesting Sojourn, always. Especially when she when, when you hear that voice line that she says, this ends now, which is like when she starts her ultimate, you gotta contest her. It's your main, you gotta prioritize her. Like, just contest her all the time. Sojourn is so OP right now. Your main job is to contest her. Don't leave her alone. Like, don't catch your beta too much. Don't overestimate the damage because you can get a lot of charge. It's too easy for her to get charge out of ball. So be make sure you're sneaky while contesting her without feeding damage. When she ultis, go into her. Uh, when you're minefielding her, unless she's with the whole team, don't try to solo minefield her because she can just slide out. Just have count that, okay? She can just slide out. Uh, Soldier 76, it's like like Widow and Sojourn, you need to be on them. You don't want to let them alone high ground. If it's long range maps, you need to be on them at the right time. It's it's hard to kill a soldier on long range maps because he has his healing station. So your main focus should be should be uh, go on him, slam him or boop him. 
if he uses his healing station, you can either try to poop him out of the healing station and kill him, or once he uses the healing station, like the heals is too strong, you gotta run away. Like Sojun, if she uses her, her E on you, you gotta run away and wait for the cooldown or try to boop them off him. But that's pretty much. Once he uses Visor, what you wanna do is be on him. You can be on him, like annoy him when he uses Visor, okay? Again, the sound, very important. When you hear that sound, go on him, okay, chat? <clears throat> And I think that's pretty much about it. Oh, his right click stops your fireball. So if you go through main into him, and he and if he, he phoenix you, if he phoenix you, chat, he stops the fireball. So just be very aware of that. Play mono. Why I've got to GM in mono? <laughs> Don't be like me, chat. Don't play mono audio. Play stereo, okay? So you can hear where they're coming from. I played mono for like three years. Only recently I changed it. Sombra, chat, I'm going to make a whole separate video about Sombra, okay? Because she's very compli complicated, she's very complex. I'm going to make a whole new video, stay tuned for that. Sim, like, Sim is one of the easiest DPSs to play against, okay? Because, like, against Sim, the first thing you need to do is, don't just run into her, of course. Go, go on the flank, wait for the right time, uh, just destroy those turrets before you go in, because the turrets stop your fireball, okay? And you can do that by just shooting. Again, against Sim, you can just slam her, boop her, you can kill her really well. Um, minefield, like, even if she walls the minefield, it doesn't do much. Just be aware of that. You can boop her out of uh, position when she walls on her ultimate. But usually, Sim, it's pretty easy to, to play against. Just be, just don't catch a bait any inside of where the turrets are. Don't catch a bait to her, okay? She needs to be off position to be punished. Um, but for most part, it's not that complicated. Yeah, a lot of things make viable, yeah. Um, you don't want to like, you don't want to be too long against her beam. If you feel like you can kill her, don't, run away. Like, you don't want to give her too much ulti charge with her beam, okay? Be aware of that. So, but basically, Sim, you want to engage into her, hit her at the right time. You don't want to like be poking her from distance or anything. No, you want to go in, slam her out, and fuck her up. Not like I did there, but you know what I mean. You want to commit him to kill her, you know? It's not like Reaper, you want to run away. That's pretty much it. Uh, there are some maps where they TP, like Lee Jen or so. Like, if they have Sim, you know they're going to TP in two spots sometimes. What you can do is, you can boop people off the map. For example, Legion Tower. They tend to TP to those windows. You can boop people off the map if they have Sim, so beware. Sure, Lords. Thank you, man. Mm, I think that's pretty much it. To CP got removed, true, but you still have Lee Jan and so. Well, Lee Jan is not to CP, but. Well, is Lee Jan to CP? No. No, it's capture point. Anamura, no, I said Lee Jan. But you can boot people on Anamura too. But it's not on, on in game right now. Torb. Chat against Storm. Against Storm is not an easy matchup. Don't catch a beta, okay? Just be aware that once he right clicks, like if you get too close, he can right click you, okay? The main the main focus against the Torb is forcing his E. Once once he uses his E chat, okay, he uses his E back up. Because he, if you're too close against Storm, he can just one like he do he has so much damage. His right click it's like a Reaper, okay? So you wanna be away of him. A quick tip against turret, like imagine the turret is there. You can destroy the turret while the turret not shooting at you. There is like an angle you can get with the turret. You can shoot at it without the turret actually shooting at it. You go in and out of LOS and you can destroy the turret without the turret uh, destroying you. But the turrets, the turrets, if they have good placement can be a big debate. Like you don't wanna, imagine like a turret is really far away if you go into a turret and you can destroy her without taking too much damage, fine. But if you're not, don't get you better by it. The main focus is you boop, you slam, you shoot him, one C, presses his E, you run away. You cannot win one that one versus one if he has his E, right? Because his right click is too strong against ball. So you run away, once the E ends, you, you might get peeled. If he gets peeled, like it's depend on the situation. But the main focus, force that E, okay? 
Choice one. Choice one versus one. Uh, it's kind of complicated. This is a skill matchup. It depends how good the tracer is and how good your ball is, okay? If you have good aim, like what you can do is, without using your E, because you're gonna need your knee to engage. If you see a tracer flanking, you can ping her and you can annoy her by booping her and then shoot her and then force a recall. Once a recall is forced, either you can commit into killer or, or you can just run away. But your main focus should be try to annoy her without giving too much ulti charge. Uh, be aware when she has pulse bomb, a pro ball will always try to take the pulse bomb for you. That's what the pro ball would do. Um, but for most part, if she's a good tracer, she can farm you pretty bad. Again, if you're very confident with your aiming and with your skills, yeah, you can outplay a tracer by booping her and then like play corners uh, around your cooldown, boop her again. But if not, usually you want to run away from her. But if she's not looking at you, you can shoot her. You can sure make sure she has low HP enough to not be able to engage on your team. It's fine, Simonizer. Uh, be aware that when she has pulse bomb, she might pulse bomb you and might kill you. Again, like again, a, a good ball, like a road dog. A good ball can try to debate those, although I feel like that's a very hard skill, okay? Let's be aware of it. We don't make her. Widowmaker, you know, Ball is born to kill Widowmakers, okay? You don't want to leave that character alone. They have a Widow, you go on her. You kill that ass. Y you know how it is. Ball, Ball is made to kill Widowmakers. Be aware that sometimes Widowmakers, they have, um, they have like the Venom Mine around choke points. And if you're Venom Mine, she knows where you are, okay? That's the first thing. Vision is really strong against Ball because they see you where you're coming from, okay? So against a Widow, don't commit until she uses a grapple. Like you can slam her or so. She's gonna use a grapple and then you commit into her fully, okay? But you, you wanna you wanna make sure the widow Listen, your first objective against a widow is make her swap to Sombra. That's gonna happen. Listen, you're gonna be annoying her so much that she either go Sombra, Cassidy, or any other character that tries to control ball. But that's your first job. Be on her 24-7. Again. Once she uses, listen chat, if he, she uses her ultimate in ISR, you need to be patient. But in low SR, you can go through, like, the thing is, when she uses her ulti, she can see the whole team, all your team. So you have two options. In, low, in high SR, people know how to hide behind walls and wait for it. But in low SR, they don't know. So in low SR, you might need to go into her even if she has ulti, so she doesn't kill your team. So you kind of waste that vision. But in ISR, you, you just hide. Just wait, because you know she's looking at you when she uses her ultimate. So you just wait those 15 seconds. Don't try to go into a flank, because they will know where you're coming from, right? So you wait, you stay still, you can troll a little bit. Hey, hello, I'm here. And then the 50 seconds will end. It's 50 seconds, you can cut it down. And then you move into a flank or into one to kill her, okay? In low ISR, you can just engage, because it doesn't matter. Supports now, chat. Anna. Anna is one of the biggest counters to, to Bob, believe it or not. When you see Anna on the enemy team, in low SR, getting slept doesn't matter that much but because people uh, wake you up. But sleep is one of the biggest counters to Bob in ISR. Because once you got slept, you die in ISR. Especially if they have Zen. But usually in ISR, getting slept equals to dying. So just be aware of that. I just try to annoy her when she has ulti active, so she gets no value. Yeah, but again, in ISR, imagine she ulties when you're rotating. That's why. That's when. That, that's when widows use their ultimate, not mid fight. You don't need the ultimate mid fight. I mean, sometimes you might need, but. Like, the Widow Ultimate, a good Widow, we're always using it when you're rotating, right? And you need to go through a choke or so, so you can see you. So you have a harder time doing it, so. But yeah, you're right. I think for most part, if you can contest her while she has the ulti on, so she doesn't kill one of your team. Okay. Anna. When you see Anna, sleep. Think about that she can sleep you. 
Now you ask, but Moeth, how can I avoid the sleep? I'm like this big target, right? How do I avoid the sleep? Well, good question. There's a couple of things you can do. Again, if Dana is like, if Dana is playing really close to the whole team, you just go in, boop, don't stay and shoot because she's gonna snip you. Just go in, boop, slam. If you get sleep, unlucky. But again, you have a very good he and the chances of you dying are very low. Besides, your whole team is probably curating chaos too. So you might get wake up because the whole team is together. But if Dana is alone and he's quite separated from the team, don't catch a bait it and slammer, okay? The trick to jubate the oh fuck. The, the, the trick to jubate the sip is first, you don't like make sure you are unseen. If she knows you're here, she she like a bad animal will always try to sleep you right away, but a good animal will save the sleep when you can beat into her. So but my biggest tip is if you want to engage into her, make sure she doesn't see you coming. So behind, never go through main. Never, never, like you see Dan is there. Never, never do this shot. Oh yeah, I'm coming out. Uh, she sleeps you, you're dead. No, don't do that. You try to, if she's like quite alone, you shoot her and hide. Shoot her hide, do this. Shoot her hide. You might you bait the sleep. Now you can be a little bit risky and try to boop her if she doesn't see you. But your main focus is shoot her hide. Shoot her hide. You wanna do this because you wanna debate her to 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 shoot that sleep dart. Once she does that, go ahead, commit. Commit and try to kill her. If she has nature, she might live. And now, if you do if you do wanna go and slam her while she has sleep on, my biggest tip is stay beneath her. She you see, stay stay beneath her. Oh wow. Stay stay here. So she has a harder time looking down, right? It's really hard for her to look down. So while she's in the air, shoot her and try to like be really behind her or so. So she has, she has a harder time to sleep you, okay? If you do want to commit into her while she has sleep. That's pretty much about it. Okay. Um, when minefielding, never, never saw minefield Anna because she has nade unless she uses it. Um, if she uses nade, you can go more aggressive with the minefield. Just be aware that the nade can destroy the minefield really well. I had so many times I, I minefield Diana. And she's quite alone, and then she doesn't die, and I'm like, what the fuck? The nade destroys. Damn. Thank you, Shadow. What the fuck? <laughs> You're so generous, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, they definitely allow... At the end of the day, like, the subs, it, it's what makes the channel. Like, it's, it's what allows me to do this for a living, you know? Big help, man. Big help, for sure. Thanks, Shadow Man. And yeah, that's the thing about Anna. That's pretty much it. Uh, when when they have Nano Blade, you can try to annoy Anna so she has a harder time to to give the Nano. Bop. Don't ever don't overestimate Bop damage. That's the first. Second is not like you go into a Bop. You can slam him. You can try to force Immortality Field. Once he uses Immortality Field, you need to like. Calculate if you can stay and shoot him. But yeah, immortality field, shoot immortality field. You can destroy immortality field. Or you can boop him out of the immortality field too, okay? So that's the thing. Just just don't overestimate his damage. He does quite damage. When he windows, what I like to do when they window is minefield the window. Or boop them away from the window. But never, when he windows, never stay here and shoot when he has window. Never. Always go on the flank and try to boop them out of the window. Well, happy to help, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Generosity is what makes a channel, man. It's what makes me being able to uh, to do this. Mm, he might, but just for a second. When he uses the immortality field, and if, like, there's two options. Either destroy the immortality field, but if he's too low, and he already uses shift, you book him out of the immortality field, and you kill him. I did that yesterday. But Bop is, is not a hard counter for Ball. Just be aware of immortality field mechanics. Uh, don't overestimate his damage. Because he's like pre it's pretty much like a diff another hit scan, you know? Alright, okay, uh, Bragita chat. Bragita is uh, one of the biggest counters for Ball. She doesn't stun anymore, but Bragita is a, a hard counter for Ball, okay? 
Um, now you ask, so how do I counter against Bragita? How do I play against Bragita? Same as Anna, never go through main. The biggest tip I can give you against a Bragita is never, never go into your team while she's looking at you, okay? If she's good Brigitte, she's going to be fun. She, like, if she's a good Brigitte, she completely destroys you. Because, like, you cannot go in. Because if she's always looking at you, she just shifts you. She shifts you, and that's it. You can't do shit, right? The best thing you can do is engage your team without she, like, without her realizing where you are. That's the importance. That's the importance of scouting and being sneaky as ball against these counters. Yeah, she doesn't stun you anymore, so that kind of sucks. But she can stop the fireball very, very much. Just be aware, don't stay too long in a fight because she can get she can get uh, our passive really well. For most part, you can kill a Brigitte even if she shields. You can out like you can kill her out of her healing by by using your melee. You can one verse run her. It's hard. If you have a good end, you can one verse run her and can kill her through her healing. If she gets pocket, it's gonna be really hard. Yeah. But yeah, usually you wanna go win into her when she's distracted. Now, if you can go in and slam the whole team uh, while she's around the whole team, that's fine. You still get value out of your ear, out of your slam, out of your bib. Another tip, chat. Well, if she don't, don't try to slam in front of her. If you slam in front of her, she can shield. And she can cancel your slam and your E. So just be aware, okay? Haha, I made you go break. <laughs> yeah, you can think that, I guess. Low mama, so just be aware of that, okay? When you slam her... Um, what the fuck? Why did she went forward? When you slam her, she can shield the slam, so... Just make sure you slam her behind her or make it hard for her to find you before you engage, okay? Another thing, against Brig, you do need to make sure you minefield her, okay? Minefielding Brig is really good. Um, just be aware that she can, because if you don't minefield her, she can farm her passive out of your mind. So be careful with it. When she, when she eats her maze with her mind, she can farm it. If you turn slam, what's a turn slam? A, a good brig would always outplay a ball, like, not like, because if she's looking at you all the time, you cannot go wing. She just shifts you out and she has a shield, right? Right back, sure. But for most part, for most part, just be aware of that. Sure, Shadow. All right, another thing. Kiriko, a recent new year, I'm still learning against Kiriko. Kiriko, it's like, you're going to feel frustrated because you're going to try to kill someone and they're really low and you're going to commit your HP and your abilities and you might die because you overcommit because she just shifts that person. It's like a feeling whenever they have Kiriko, I don't think she's like, she should be like your main prioritize because she has a lot of mobility, but the most obnoxious to play against her right now, it's... When you go into someone else, like, for example, going to a widow, you're about to kill her. If you can't kill her, you don't commit and you don't feed. But the problem right now is that you, you're feeding and you're committing to killing someone, but that someone is going to get hit by her and you're most likely going to die. So it's like against Kiriko, it's something to have in mind, right? You can force her TP. But for the most part, she's not hard to play. She's just annoying sometimes. That that happens. The fact that you're about to kill someone and they and they shift. Also, if you're gonna slam into her, it's kind of like Brigitte, because if you slam in front of her, she just is, and your slam is completely useless. Um, it's not like you're gonna die, but just be aware, like because sometimes you're gonna overcommit to kill a target, and you won't be able to kill it because she has a, her E up. Okay, just be very aware of that. Be very aware of that, okay? Um, sometimes some Kirikos, they tend to go with someone flanking. And when that happens, you definitely should commit into her. Don't go to the guy that she's pocketing on the flank, but go to her. Because she, has, she already used TP to go on the flank with that person most of the time. So you want to you wanna kind of peel for her on that sense. 
Betting panic blings are worse. Oh yeah, when she uses cleanse, uh, like betting, like forcing cleanse is really good. It's just something that you need to be aware of, right? Just because it's just annoying. Uh, the biggest problem that I had right now in comp is committing into killing someone and overcommit my health and might die. Most of the times I died because they they eat at the right time. So just be aware of that. And a lot of slams were useless because of her. It's it's not necessarily that she counters. But at the same time, it's just annoying, you know? Just be aware of that. When she ultis, be aware that everyone does a shit ton of damage, like window. But it's like, it's up to you to calculate. Do I need to cause a distraction? You don't want to slam in front of the whole team if this, the ult is on, because it's going to get burst down. So pretty much when she ultis, your job is like to create a distraction so the whole team is not shooting your team, but you, like, without time. You know what I mean? It's like a tempo thing. When there is a window, a window here, it really depends. Like if you don't have cooldowns and if you commit, you die. But usually, either you run away from the or ulti or you cause a distraction. Yeah, that is true. Um, that's a good tip, actually. She can headshot you if you're like this, right? If you're shooting her, but she cannot headshot you if you're booping around. I think that's pretty much about it, about Kiriko. When she has no plans and no TP, it's time to kill her, right? So, but pretty much it's, a, it's someone that you can kill her, but it's someone annoying to play against. More, what do I do when I feel burned out on Overwatch and I'm sad about the lack of content? Well, don't play Overwatch. You don't have to play Overwatch. But I think that's just a switch of... I, like, I feel like Burner, you always have, like, this very negative attitude towards everything. Like, you need to, to change your attitude towards everything. Otherwise, you're not going to be a happy man. Lucio. Believe it or not yet, this might be... this. You might not agree. But Lucio can be like you're saying, Cybernizer. I completely agree with you. A good Lucio can counter balls so bad. Like, so bad. For different reasons. Some coke and play more. <laughs> Hello, Stone. I don't think that's a good advice, but... The reason why that is, is because Lucio Boop, it's one of the best counters to ball. A bad Lucio will never be looking at ball, right? A good Lucio, a good Lucio just looks at you, sits on the other support, and just boops you. Like, the boop is, like, it's even harder than, than Brigitte, right? Because the boop has such a AoE. Like, look at that chat. There's nothing you can do against the Lucio boop. Like, Lucio, it's such, like, you're rolling into your team, he just does this, you're fucking useless. And it's on three second cooldown. Like, Lucio is one of the hardest counters to ball. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna die. It just means that... Like, when they have a Lucio, like, against Brigitte, you just need to make sure he's not looking at you. How important is chat? I'm telling you. Like, because if he's looking at you... Like, imagine you're engaging from there, and the Lucio is, is with Diana. You're coming in... That's it. Completely useless. So, how do you play against a Lucio? Engage in a way where he doesn't see you. Now, sometimes you can kill a Lucio if you have very good aim. You slam him, he doesn't have his Z, he might die. But it's really hard, very high skill because he's going to be wall riding, he's super fast. You need very good aim, okay? Just be aware, chat, <laughs> that this boop is really good. He's really good against it. A good Lucio counters ball completely. Uh, also, his beat. Whenever you have mines, it's just fucking beat. So, <laughs> mines are so useless. You can also speed the team out. Another reason why he counters, he counters ball is sometimes you're like scouting, and because of the speeds, like he boosts his whole team. So, your team collapses on your team, and you don't have time to engage in. So, be aware that against Lucio, you kind of can't be too much flanking because you need that timing to be correct to stop the speed boost into your team. Okay, chat, just be aware of that. And that's pretty much it. Lucio, also Lucio does a good amount of damage. I just boops you, so... It's one of the hardest counters to ball, in my opinion. 
when they have beat and you have mines, I think it might be worth it. I think it's not a terrible trade for your part because you might have another ultimate besides the minefield stay longer than the beat. So it's always a win for you. But at the same time, it's just annoying that a lot of Lucius, they just beat the minefield. My biggest advice is spread. You can try to minefield him. Like if he has beat, slam mines, might get him killed, but most of the times won't. Mercy. Uh, Mercy, Mercy is pretty much very weak against Bow. Again, if they have a Mercy chat, most likely you go to win as well, in my opinion. Whenever the enemy has a Mercy Nam on Bow, on Bow, I just win the game. It's too easy to play against uh, Mercy. And the reason that is, is because she has no CC. It might be annoying trying to kill her, because she has a lot of movement. But Mercy is just so easy. Lack of content? Okay, listen. Burner, I want you to not be negative in my chat. You are forbidden to be negative. I don't want that attitude. What are you talking about lack of content? Like, you have, we have new content every two weeks. We literally had, yesterday or before yesterday, um, a new character, a new character, uh, a new character preview. Like, what are you talking about? You are forbidden to be negative on my chat. I forbid you. Or you get banned. I'm sorry. I'm tired of your negative attitude. It's not healthy for you and it's not healthy for my community. You come here and the first thing you do is negativity. Only positivity. Especially when a game when a game it's in the right track. Hello Masika. Like YouTube 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 streamers, most of them, they will talk negativity because that's what brings people to listen to them. Every single one of them. That doesn't mean they're not right about certain things, but they're not balancing when criticizing, okay? You don't see a YouTube video saying, Wait, this is so cool! And, uh, like, you don't see thumbnails saying, Wow, what an insane content, this is so good, finally, the devs are... Like, you don't see that, it's always negativity. And you bringing that to my chat, it's annoying me a lot. And I don't want that. Okay, again, um, against Mercy. Against Mercy, chat. One of the most things you can do to counter Mercy, because Ball counters Mercy, is when someone dies on their team, don't use your cooldowns. Like, you see someone dying, in your mind it's like, she's gonna rest, she's gonna rest, she's gonna rest. And once she tries to do that, you boop her. And that's it, you completely... You completely counter that. I have nothing against you. Okay. I know that you don't have anything against you. I know you don't have bad attentions. But again, I hope you understand when I'm saying, Curry, I forbid you to be negative. I don't care what you do on your free time. But in my chat, I forbid you. I hope you understand that statement. Because I'm not going to be patient tomorrow if you come in and the, th the first thing you say is being negative towards something. Like, I'm not going to be patient with you. You're going to get banned again. I'm telling you this because I want to be your friend. And I want you to be a good guy in my chat. I don't want you to come here and being negative. You need to change your attitude. In my chat. With your personal life, you do whatever you want. And it feels like, it feels like you like to get this attention when you are negative. And that annoys me. Don't come into my chat and be a negative. That's all you have to do. Enjoy the fucking game. Uh, when she valks, a big thing that you do against Mercy, two things. So the first thing is booped her when she rests, okay? Booped her when she rests. And... And when she valks, don't commit into a fight, okay? Because it's really hard to kill anyone when she valks. When she uses a Valk too early, don't minefield, just wait for the Valk to end. It's like beat. When they beat it, don't use minefield, okay? Just wait for the cooldown to go out, and then commit, okay? And that's it about Mercy. Taking notes, can you? Okay, Mora. Uh, against Mora. Mora can be pretty annoying to kill, 
Um, it depends how good the Mora is. If the Mora is always doing healing orbs, it's gonna be really hard to kill her. But Mora lacks utility, so if you booping and slamming the whole team, most likely you can make Mora heals very useless. Now, the one versus one matchup against her, it's very skill depending. Like, because if she uses her damage orb, you can commit into her. She doesn't have enough self healing to, to, for you. You need a good track though. You also need a good, the importance of Fanny, right? Um, you can try to force the. Um, you can try to force her fade. Once, once she forces her fade or healing orb, you should commit her, okay? Yes, Simonizer, that is true, but you know, I found out doing that and wasting a lot of my time, not gonna lie. So I think it would depend how good the Mora is. If the, the Mora is like around our team, I would focus on booping people, as many people, and slamming as many people as possible. But yeah, if you can commit into her after she uses Fade or so, go for it. Another thing, when she presses the Kamehame, or ultimate, boop her, and, and be like annoying her. So she can't like do some stuff to your team, okay? It's like a visor or a, or a soldier note, the annoyer. When you hear that ultimate, go into her annoyer. So she doesn't commit into your team or try to kill someone on your team. And I think that's pretty much it about uh, Mora. Mora, usually it's an easy matchup. Mercy and Mora, they don't counter that much. Uh, Zen. She almost never slam her, you must good follow. I think the main objective when she has, um, yeah, just boop her. Like, try to boop her over all your LOS. But I found a lot of value by just, like, being annoying in front of her, right? Because if you're, like, in the in, on her LOS in front of her, she cannot she cannot see her teammates. Like, you you have this big, gigantic ball in front of her, booping her and annoying her. She also gains speed, I think, when she calls, so it's pure of that. Zen, although Zen is not as strong as in Overwatch 1 as in Overwatch as he was in Overwatch 1, because um, because of the speeds and how much less CC there is in the game. The thing is, when they have Zen, you gotta kill him. Okay? It's like should be your main priority target. But at the same time, Discord is one of the best abilities in a game, if not the most broken ability, because it damage boosts everyone on their team. So when they have a Zen in your mind, it's like, holy shit, they have so much damage, okay? You might be used to just stay and shoot people without taking a lot of damage. If you're dying too fast, it's most likely because you're getting Discord. Uh, my tip is, don't commit too much into Zen, Try to poke him down, test test a little bit what's happening in the field. If you feel like you can kill him, go for it, but he's a very skill-based, okay? Uh, don't get too close into Zen because he can, he can punch you and boop you with his feet. That's something you want to be like at this range. Uh, good aim, it's a very skill matchup, but usually like you see a Zen, boop him, and get out. You need to do it really fast. If you stay too long, the whole team is going to do a way too much damage to you. Again, Discord is really broken. How do you play against a Discord? Well, if you get Discord before engaging, hide in a wall, hide out of the LOS until the Discord is out, and then engage into him and try to kill him. Again, you need really good skill with them, and you really need good uh, follow-up to kill him. Just be aware of that. Discord is really, really strong. But, but the thing is, if they have Zen, you need to contest him. Like, you need to make sure that this card orb is on you. You need to make sure you try to kill him. Um, if they have trans, you can try to force the trans and then minefield. But yeah, make sure, like, the, the trans kind of counters the minefield. So just be aware of that. Yeah, usually you slam them if you can. And then you shoot them. Yeah, going from above or super. Yeah, you can try to boop him into your steam. Again, the importance of scouting. Don't engage wh while you're Discord. If you get Discord after you engage, that's another thing. But make sure you try to engage without being Discord first. If you do manage to get Discord because the Discord is such an easy ability to eat, be patient, hide, wait for the Discord to go off or wait for him to Discord someone else and then go in. 
Yeah, Simonizer, yeah. We talked about how important it is to scout and uh, look before engage. And I think that's it for all the characters, chat. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys uh, learned something new. Um, follow if you like the content. Uh, subscribe. I will be uh, posting more uh, Wrecking Ball content. I'll try to post a new character content too. Ramatra. I think it's going to be really fun. Thank you so much for the insane support to the YouTube. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.